is Sherry's Joy and Stay off of our blood up. And we make the Digicast. So we haven't done this in a while, but we are going on a road trip. We're going on oop, oh, go ahead. First road trip of the year. First road trip of the year. And we're actually going for a whole week this time. We are um, going on vacation. And we are using our timeshare to go to Massanet, Virginia. Those of you who have been following us for a while, thank you very much. And thank you very much to the new followers. Um, you know that last year, last January, we went to uh, Williamsburg, Virginia, which, you know, is my home. Um, and we signed up for timeshare. So now we're using it. Right. <laughs> Finally. We're trying to maximize the benefit of it. Yes. So it's the whole, I don't know, I guess there's a whole lot of stuff about timeshare good, timeshare bad, timeshare this forever long burden on your finances. Yeah. We got in at the ground floor, like dirt cheap uh, per month. Well, we only, but only because we, you know. We, 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 we haggled them down. Well, no, we accepted what we could afford. Yeah. Like, what they offered us, we truly couldn't afford it. And why accept something you can't afford? You're just setting yourself up yeah, for failure. But we really, really wanted to do, you know, what they offered. And then they offered us the, you you could go back and, I think, yeah, we did we post about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, that. so we, you know, right before the exit, they offered us something and we were able to accept it because it didn't break the pockets. Now it's not the best package ever, ever, but it's good enough for us. And it yeah. still gets us to go on vacations and enjoy our time together and with our family. Yeah, so the, the bonus, or I guess the, the you know, the, the basics of the timeshare is you go to the place that you designated to go every year, every other year, whatever. So the place we're supposed to go there's nothing to do in Williamsburg, Virginia right now. Yeah. <laughs> Next week there's stuff. Uh, last week there's stuff. This week there ain't nothing going on. Well, so even though it's, it's home for me, yeah. it's still like we've, because it's home, you know, we've gone like what? Four or five times a year sometimes. Yeah, but home has Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens right, Bush Gardens is closed. Is closed. <laughs> And it's winter time, and it's not really a whole lot of wintry things to do. Yeah. And we're just not interested in doing the colonial landscape stuff like at all. I've been there, done that, of course. Yeah. But no. So yeah, that's what we're. That's so. I think it's here right now. We go somewhere else. Yeah, it's our anniversary today, literally, um, January twentieth. So I, uh, I mean. The exciting thing for me about getting married, you know, in winter time is to do winter getaways, right? Like winter um, anniversary vacations and whatever. So we're actually doing kind of something like I thought would be really nice to go to the mountains and, you know, like snow lodge, snow resort, fireplace, you know, cozy on up with the fireplace and uh, a cup of tea, some coffee, hot cocoa, you know, drink. That's where we're going, Massanutten, Virginia, in the mountains. I've never been to the mountains of Virginia, and um, I think this will be very interesting. I think you've got a one-up on me with that, going into the mountains. I, uh, I yeah, I mean, I'm a, I, am I an ex-snowboarder at this point? I'm a snowboarder. I don't <laughs> ski. Um, you don't do any of that stuff. I don't stuff. do any of that stuff. I no sit on the sidelines. Might be okay. okay. No, but I mean, you've been to like actual black, you've been to Blacksburg. I've never been to the mountains of Virginia. What's Blacksburg? Didn't you swore Virginia Tech? Oh, yeah, like one time. <laughs> well, that's one time that I haven't. Yeah. I guess driving in the mountain area is its own thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so anyway, the, the whole thing is like, we go into the mountains. It was, Massanutten, Virginia, has stuff to do yes. for this week where our regular timeshare did not. Did not have anything to do. And it was close enough that we could drive it. Yeah. Um, and we might not need to leave the resort, actually. Right. Yeah. There's a shuttle. They have a shuttle and everything. Like, 
we'll tell you more about it, you know, as we learn. But there's, there, it's like, um, what would you say? Like it's like excursions to do. <laughs> like, like you go on a cruise. There's excursions yeah. to do. I don't know. There's like activities that you pay for, of course, that you can do. But we found. I mean. When we, when we researched it, because what's the number one rule? Yeah, rule number one. Do your research. Do your research. Uh, so when we were researching it, you know, we saw the list of activities, and it looked like there were different activities every day, or maybe some of the same activities every day, but they added, like, different ones during certain days. Um, and the price range, it's, you know, it can be, it's, like, yeah, low it's to like, high. It's not all but I think the higher, the higher, the higher rates we saw were things for like massages and stuff like that. That's going to be expensive right. anywhere you go. Yeah, like we went to King's Mill that one time, which was right next to Williamsburg, and that was no, it's in Williamsburg. It's right next yeah. to Gardens. Yeah. yeah, right next to Gardens. And that was that was not included. And that was expensive. That was very expensive. Oh my gosh. It was worth it. But it I had never good. had we had never had a massage before. We did a couple's massage. I'm gonna say it was over 300 plus you tip. And um, I thought it was at 300. It might have been at 300. Yeah, but we tip no, and we tipped. But I but, but also that was like 2015, 2014, something like that. It was it was expensive. It was worth it during and like immediately after like that whole day we were like relaxed. Um, I was in, you know, it was, it was great. <laughs> um, Y'all see this guy behind me. What is, what is up with the people riding my ass today? I don't know if they can see you. Or if they can see behind you. They, they look way back there. They're right there. Are we on 83? Yeah. Oh. No, 83. Yeah. So, uh, Matt's nothing about a three hour drive. So From where we are. Technically yeah. a little closer than Busch Gardens. Oh yeah, we moved to Pennsylvania. We're in PA now. Yeah. So that's so that's happening. That's ongoing. But yeah, as far as the DMV area folks, um, I guess if you're in that area, I don't know. Whatever it told us to do was take 95. I looked at the map. I was like, we could take 70. <laughs> Save the whole 10 minutes. Yeah. I was like, All right. I guess the, the thing is, we gotta check in by a certain time. We're like, we're not too well, far into PA, but we're far enough to whereas anywhere we go and we have to go through Maryland to get there, it's going to be like an extra 30 minutes. Yeah. We're still we're like Maryland, eight. Virginia, Virginians. Marylanders, Virginians. Yeah, I'm a Virginian. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll see how the Pennsylvania thing goes. Well, excuse me, it's not the South. Yeah. 
it's a definitely above the Mason Dixon, but I'm just saying, like, some of that area is just kind of look like mm, maybe we shouldn't really be here right now. Get a little sketch, yeah. It's a very bit. farmy where we are, right? yeah. It's, I really like it. I mean, I really like it. Like, what did we, we saw today? We saw, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, we're very close to the Amish. I couldn't turn the, the camera on in time to catch it, yeah. And I didn't want to be like, oh my god, you know, but um, yeah, we're very close to the Amish. So we went, we stopped at Duncan on the way to get a coffee, and we saw a, a, a carriage. We saw a, a couple, they looked like they might have been a couple, it was a man and a woman, yeah. And they were in their carriage with the, with the uh, horse pulling, horse drawn carriage, horse -drawn carriage. Mm -hmm. and they have blankets and stuff.
had to stop for a little bit because we had to pack and figure out life real quick. Yeah, the, um, the income to effort ratio was not there for dancing. Right, and our hearts weren't in it either. Yeah. We had, like, it, it's, yeah. It's stressful to dance. 2023 is over. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, we got 23 was a rebuilding year. We really did. <laughs> we really, I think we should stop saying that. I think we're probably cursing ourselves. Like, this is the year, it's gonna be us. And then everything comes crashing down. Oh my god. But, yeah, so we're dashing, we're back to dashing, and we're doing PA dashing, and it's been quite interesting. So we should do an update on that. Um, we just dashed this weekend in the snowstorm. Yeah, that was, so that was interestingly fun. I don't know, I guess, comment below if you like the dashing videos, because stop making them. Yeah, we have a one 
bedroom. A one bedroom. Yeah, they got different ones. Like I think you say ours have like a garage stuff. And they don't all have that. They got different amenities. And then it's like different you know, locations too. Like, oh, is this one on the hill? So you're looking at the mountains. Or are you looking at the ski resort? Or do you yeah. have that window? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, they were real cagey. 
timeshare talk in the summer excuse me it was it was completely different it was definitely pushy it was definitely corporate sorry and um they could tell that okay well these people they want to do it but they don't have the money we're not messing with them move on they threw us away <laughs> but but yeah, who like, we I signed up with that. vacation bill they really really genuinely wanted to help us reach our goals as a family to make these vacations happen and i will swear by them all day yeah flip the tables on your on your people so they're trying to tell you you got to think of it as make them sell making them sell to you, right? They're not trying to sell you. You want to make it worth your while. So I was like, going in there, like, I'm not giving up time to ever got one. There's pretty much nothing you can say oh, to make me. Oh, Myrtle Beach? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was working on me. I was like, whoa. Until they started talking about the maintenance fee. I was like, what the F? Yeah, because they're going to leave that till the end. I was just like, yeah, I don't really, y'all keep talking. I'm not gonna buy anything. You keep, I mean, she looked like she won't buy something. I'm like, no. I did. I wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted to. I was like, we could have two. We have two timeshares. I like that we have one. And it's got some yeah, no, options. Yeah, one's fine. See, if you can afford two and you want to deal with the hassle of two, yeah, get two. And, and then, I was like, no, no, we don't no, need two. No, we don't need two. And then, um. And also, it wasn't, it was dealing with two different systems. It was like, and, and it was like two better. payments. Yeah. Like, no. The system we got is way better. And we have access to that location in Myrtle Beach through the book. Now, right. it's not a vacation village place, but we still have access to do a time to, you know, book a timeshare there at a probably a higher, a little bit higher of a fee, but nowhere near what it costs don't have a timeshare. Yeah, they were on there. We're new. Yeah, we the only one. They are very snitty. <laughs> yeah. They are so very snitty. They, I don't know, whatever they did, they got... It wasn't Wyndham. <laughs> right. They, they're in Myrtle Beach. They're on prime property and they're in the new spot. The new hotness is not even built yet. And they're on it. Yeah. And it's gonna be nice. But it was like, no. It, so, it you know, was nice. Premium. Everything. It was very nice. They, it was a big property too. It, it was, was very nice. It was very nice. This yeah. is how they were wooing you. They offered. They had a freaking. I've never seen this before. Like it wasn't even done yet, and it looked good. They had um, unlimited, like a what is that coffee machine? Jerry. No, no, no. It was Folgers. Folgers but it was. Um, but it was. It was like. Like buffet style, like in a in a in like a machine thing, and you pull down the spout, and the coffee comes out, and it was Folgers. It wasn't like church coffee. Church coffee. Yeah, it no, depends on who makes it. Well, maybe church church hot chocolate is not good. It's all watered down. But again, it does depend on who makes it. But yeah, I mean, they had coffee and they had like little Debbie cakes and stuff like that. And you had unlimited coffee. I think I had, I was very stressed at that one. I was extremely stressed. I might've had like 10 cups of coffee, but they were like little Dixie cups. But, um. It was, you know what it is. It's, you're going in stressed. blind and it's like. But we weren't going in blind. No, I know that. I'm just saying it's like you go in. Next thing you realize is you're in a car dealership. Yeah. And high pressure sales like a car dealership, and you done. Um, they they uh, they let you test drive the car. You know, just by yourself, hanging out. You're at the beach. Yeah, it's cool. 
lucky person is who stresses you out. I was so stressed. I was so stressed out. I was just, it was so, it was so stressful. But then when they were talking about the money and it was like numbers, like what the? And it, was, I mean, it. What did they want? Like, I don't know, like thirty thousand? Are you kidding? We don't even own a house at that point. <laughs> at this point. So it was just insane. It was it was like ridiculous. Yeah, that was that was like just keep it in your back pocket that you could pretty much stand up at any time and be like I'm done. And they kind of have to just let you go. Just know that they're gonna put you in another room and they're gonna try again. Like, you sure you wanna go? Yeah. It's like we're gonna let you go, but how about another time here? And this was the one that I signed up for an accident. This was like a couple of years ago. I just this all was I was, when I was mad. I was like, "Why did you talk to them?" Yeah, you were mad. I was stupid. I didn't know I was being, um, you know, roped into a timeshare thing. I thought I was getting a discount because I was a whatever. So we did that, and that's over with. But I was really surprised at you for the Williamsburg one because you were you wanted to hear them out. I can't remember what it was. It was oh, the Williamsburg one I got because I went to the bridal show. I got dragged to a bridal convention. The one that we own. So okay. <laughs> I got I got dragged to a bridal convention by someone that was already married and didn't tell us. Oh, well here's the thing. But, and um, that's how we and I won a free vacation. Yeah. And Rob was like, okay, talk to me, talk to me. And then he was interested and I, I was, was like, what? I was morbid morbidly curious because I had never been done timeshare thing before. Yeah, but you were so pissed about the one that I agreed to. Because we had already done it. We didn't do it. No, because I didn't want to do it again. What? Also, it cost money to do that. No. When I signed up for the Myrtle Beach one, that was a year before. That was the year before. So I signed up for the Myrtle Beach one, let's just say February 2022. Oh, and that one. And you were so that. upset. We were really supposed to go that August, but we couldn't go, so we pushed it back a year. Right, and then, and then that November, I went to the bridal show, and then they called me like January, and was like, "Hey, we got you know you won." It's like, what did I win? You won a vacation to Williamsburg. What? Well, that's our place. And I think maybe that's what enticed you. Though. Anyways, whatever. It all worked out. Thank you for the follow.